my name is Jack McAvoy and I play Charlie Tanner. And Charlie is the golden boy, main man, gets all the gold, gets all the praise, is always kind of handed the trophies at the end of the season. I'm Rob Compton and I'm playing Wilbur Wren, who works for the Ironworks and is also a top player for the Ironworks football team. Two of the kind of big boys on the team, if one wants to be better than the other, Charlie's better. Um, and I don't think Wren really is too keen on that idea and he kind of, you know, great player himself but wants to be the main man. Uh, he likes his uh, booze and women and uh, he's got some bad blood with Charlie Tanner, the victim, because he's always going to be second in line to him. We just shot the uh, action sequence, um, a close-up of the headbutt where Ren comes up and has had enough of my glory hunting and hits me right in the nut. I headbutt him and it all kicks off. I'm Owen Teal and I play Felix Hackman and I'm the foreman of this ironworks and I believe that the game of football you can bring discipline and camaraderie to young men. It's safe to say he's an obsessive character and that can have tremendous plus points but on the, the dark side of that is that he can brook no compromise and an uncompromising character means things become very black and white. I know that I'm innocent so um, he, can be as, he can be as cocky and arsy as he likes. So when Thatcher kicks the door in and they come and uh, question him, he knows that he's in control. So far in this season, there's been very few triumphant moments for Drake. In the midst of that, the scenes I've had with Matthew and Adam, where I'm, we're kind of sparking off each other, and I'm blowing my top a bit, and they're being a bit like schoolboys in the corner. There's tension among the three, the three boys, and uh, Jackson shows up to do his job, and he's pulling old Reed's back, you know, and he's trying to go to Reed, go, look at this jerk off, think he's in charge. I think it's very complicated with Reed and Drake, because for so many years, Reed was Drake's boss, and uh, I would always take the lead, and, and then Drake went away to Manchester and came back, and, and Reed left the station. So there's a, it's a very complicated relationship. So I think, Initially, Reed is when when Deborah Goran asked him to come and investigate this case, which was prosecuted originally by his friend. He says, "No, why would I go and undermine my friend out of the blue?" I suppose the unsentimental part of Reed is thinking, "Well, perhaps there is a reason to go and, and investigate a little bit for my own." My name is uh, Jonas Armstrong, and I play Nathaniel, or as my father calls me, Nate. Nathaniel's journey is the most interesting one. Um, he's one of the most interesting characters to sort of wrap your head around. When you first meet him, um, he's quite a simple, a simple guy, uh, very quiet. In fact, he's, he's bordering on mute. He doesn't really speak until later on in the series. You don't really get to learn a lot about him, apart from he's, um, he's very much Abel Croker's sort of uh, foreman. He's the sort of labour behind Abel Croker's work. He's not his biological son, but he has taken him as his son. As um, they started to do in season three, they're moving um, more and more away from procedural sort of cop drama um, into the stories that are much more tied in with the main characters. I think series four, I think there's a big, big thing coming. I really, really don't think that Ripper Street is gonna let anyone down that have enjoyed it before.